Eid Mubarak guys! Today's video is inspired by Eid and features a wearable glam look you can pull off during this festive season. Please keep watching! I'm starting off with a clean, well moisturized face so that my makeup applies effortlessly. I'm priming my skin with the Nivea Aftershave Balm. You can use any face lotion containing glycerin since it allows makeup to stick well and last long. I'm going to apply Revlon's Illuminator on all the high points of my face to achieve a dewy finish to my skin. I dotted my face with this matte foundation and blended it out using a beauty blender. Make sure you use a moist beauty sponge while blending since a moist sponge would soak up less product than a dry one. Applying a matte foundation with an illuminating primer underneath ensures that you get good coverage with a dewy finish. Dewy finish foundations usually tend to have sheer to medium coverage. Dewy skin always looks more youthful and less kiki than a matte finish one. That's why it's my favorite. Also, dewy skin is a dry skinned girl's best friend. Next, I'm going to apply concealer to all the areas I wish to highlight. I'm going to apply it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, the cupid's bow, forehead and chin. Sometimes I like to apply a bit under my cheeks as well. I'm going to use the pointed end of my beauty blender and blend it all out. I like to go over my entire face with the sponge in the end to make sure it's seamlessly blended out. Next, I'm going to set the concealed areas with MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45. I'm going to apply this with my wet beauty sponge. I'm filling out the sparse areas in my brows using this brow pencil. To ensure that I go with the light hand, I'm holding the pencil by the end. No one wants sharpie brows now, do they? I'll quickly set my brows with a mascara wand. If my brows look a bit crazy right now, don't worry. The eye makeup is gonna round all that out in the end. I'm going to quickly prime my eyes with the same concealer I used for highlighting. I'm going to blend it all out using my finger and set it with the MAC Studio Fix Powder we used before. For this makeup look, I'm gonna be using the Lacme Absolute Eyeshadow Palette in French Rose and I'm gonna pick up this light brown shade on a fluffy blending brush to apply this into the crease of my eye. I'm going to apply this shadow starting at the outer corner of my eye and blend it out using windshield wiper motions. Starting at the outer corner of the eye ensures that pigmentation is most intense on the outer corner and fades into the inner corner. I'm going to further deepen up that crease with this shade which is a tad bit darker than the previous one. I'm going to use the same technique as before to blend out this shade. I'm applying this shade just beneath my crease to make sure that it doesn't muddy up the color we applied before. I'm going to apply this nudie pink eyeshadow on the inner two thirds of my eyelid. Swiping the product on and dabbing it allows finer application with minimum fallout. I'm going to pick up the darker brown shade we used before to define the outer corner. This helps in elongating the shape of your eye, giving it a cat eye-like appearance. Now I'm going to pick up a clean blending brush and blend out the crease to ensure that there are no harsh lines. From this blush palette by Makeup Revolution, I'm going to pick up the pinky silver eyeshadow with pink reflects and pop it onto the center of the eyelid. I have wet my brush with MAC Fix Plus. You can wet your brush with eye drops or even water. Wetting the brush helps make metallic foiled eyeshadows pop. Let's blend everything out once again with a clean blending brush. I'm going to highlight the brow bone with this pale gold shade. I'm going to be using this liquid liner to draw on a nice thick wing on my upper lash line. It always helps to have a long applicator wand since it allows you to wield it better and gives you better precision. Now let's tightline the eyes with loads and loads of kajal. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Kajal. Next, I'm smoking out the lower lash line with the same dark brown shadow with a pencil brush and blend it out using a clean blending brush. Curl the lashes and onto mascara. You can load up with two to three coats of mascara on your top and bottom lashes if you aren't comfortable with applying false lashes. 
love how false lashes make such a statement. Voila! Now that the eyes are done, let's chisel up that face with bronzer. I'm applying bronzer to all the hollows and outer perimeters of my face. Make sure you buff it out well. I'm going to apply this peachy pink blush from the Makeup Revolution blush palette to my cheeks with a blush brush to add a healthy flush to my face. Now let's highlight the high points of my face to tie together the dewy look we have planned for today. This pinky silver highlighter was quite pigmented and needed to be applied with a very light hand. And now MAC Fix Plus to melt all those face powders into one. Using a makeup fixing spray like MAC Fix Plus helps in giving your face a glowy dewy finish. Let's finish up with this high pigmented gloss from L'Oreal. This lipstick adds the pop of colour that ties together the whole look. And that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more such videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, remember, fair isn't the only lovely.